Well, hello, welcome to the vlog. Today, we're gonna be looking at how to cut a cigar and the various different ways that you can do so. Look at that, every time I hit the table, the camera's gonna shake. I just realized that, dang it. That was fun. Did that entertain you? I'm always trying to keep you engaged in the video because the longer you watch this video without clicking away, the better YouTube likes it. So I'm trying to keep your attention with silly, zany moves. Doo okay, anyways, this is the cigar we're looking at today. This was sent to me by My Cigar Pack. If you'd like a cigar sent to your home like this, check out My Cigar Pack there in the description of the video, the link to My Cigar Pack. They're amazing. Really, really amazing. So we're gonna look at different, we already know. You already know what we're gonna do today because it was in the description of the video. Now listen, I don't have, listen, listen. I don't have every tool available to cut a cigar. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. I'm just gonna show you the most popular standard ways. And there's three of those. It's not that exciting. Actually it is, I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? It is the most exciting thing you've ever heard. Don't click away from the video. Okay. Let's open the cigar in the most entertaining fashion possible. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'll just, I'll just, whatever. Ugh. Mm. Oh, oh boy. This smells so good. I'm trying to get a good shot of it. Okay, so I have three different types of cutters for this cigar, and I think I said that already. Repeating myself does not keep your engagement, so I apologize. Is this, are you still super engaged, highly committed to this video? Because <laughs> you should be. Videos don't get much better than this. The first style we're gonna be looking at is this. Mm -mm. Oh, this way, okay, ready? Boop. Oh, that's what's cool about this lighter. It's not a lighter though, it's a cigar cutter. Look at that, it's like bat wings. It's like, hey, I can't hurt you, or can I? Uh, so this lighter is very simple, very basic. You cut the tip of the cigar off. Wow, this cigar is so big it barely goes in there, but it actually is a perfect example of where you should cut your cigar using this method. So ideally, what you wanna do is you don't wanna cut too far into the cigar and you don't wanna cut too close to the end. What you want is this perfection, right around here. Uh, I moved the camera a little bit because the shot was bugging me, so just calm down. But first, before we get to this one, let me show you a different cutter. This next method is called the V-cut. Uh, it helps with this cutter to make that noise anytime you open and close it. You can also go you don't have to make any sound. Uh, I got this cutter for like $3, very cheap. But what it does, I'll show you, but it cuts a little V into the back of the cigar. But first, before we get to this one, let me show you a different cutter. This cutter comes equipped on my lighter. Little secret door, secret compartment there. Do you see that? Amazing. This lighter you can find on Amazon. I'll put the link to it in the description below. If you'd like to pick up your own, it's like eight bucks. Great lighter and cigar cutter. So this has the punch method. This is called the hole punch or something like that. If you look on the end of this thing, you can see that it has this like, it's actually pretty sharp, this area right there. And all you do is stick the cigar onto that, kind of in the center. And then uh, you just kind of push back and forth like so. And you'll notice there's now a hole in the cigar, and the other piece of the cigar got stuck in there, and I can just tap it out. So that's that. Now we can go back to the V-cut. I'll show you what that looks like. So the cigar goes in the hole, and you move this little knife thing down, and it cuts, and it, I, that was the worst cut ever. Let me, I wasn't paying attention, okay? Terrible, terrible cut. That's not what it should look like. I don't think it did so well because I already had the hole punch in it and I just am bad at this, but that's, that's not how it should look. Now, my trusty doo -doo -doo, stick it in there. Look how simple this is. Boom. Oh gosh, it was awful too. Well, our cigar is now cut. 
Ugh. So now we can smoke it and enjoy. If you'd like to know which method is the best, none of them. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. I personally like the punch. I think a little hole punch because it it's a little bit more like a pipe. You get a smaller draw, smaller air through, but it's, it's a total preference thing. It's whatever you like. I just like that you're still watching this video and you're so sweet. Um, if you like to be even sweeter, be better, you can go to my Patreon and, you know, give me money that way. <laughs> All this guy does is ask for money. I know, what a jerk. I have three kids, so does my wife. They're the, they're the same three kids. They're getting older. My oldest is 16, then I have a 14 year old, and well, on and on. Actually, there's only one more age, but he's the youngest, it doesn't matter. So, one of the things that happens as your kids get older is they start to have their own opinions about things. It happens from a young age, actually. It's a good thing. We always wanted our kids to have their own opinions on things, but sometimes, our kids will come to me with an idea that's different than my own. <sighs> I found as the kids get older and more and more opinions get thrown out there that might be different than my own, it becomes ever more apparent that it's difficult to challenge your own way of doing things, looking at things. When it comes to cigars and how you cut a cigar, most of us are pretty dang open to new ideas. Like, wait, how do you do it? I want to learn that way. Maybe it's better. I'll try it out. Who cares? We're that way with a lot of things. But oddly enough, we're not so okay with that when it comes to differing ideas or viewpoints on big issues. I guess that makes sense, but at the same time, the big issues are the things that actually make the biggest impact on our life. But those are the things we're the most hesitant, not only to change, but also sometimes to even hear, to listen to. It's of course easier when it comes from your own kids because you know them, you bore them, and if you don't like their opinion, you can tell them to shove off, <laughs> force them to think the way that you think. But when it's somebody who has a different opinion that maybe you don't agree with, you don't really like, it's very easy to just shut them down, to not even listen to it. Or if we know that we're going into a situation where we're gonna hear a differing idea from somebody else, we prepare ourselves with our own idea and make that strong so that we can change their opinion or idea or thought to become our own. I guess I don't have a big point on this. It's just struck me lately that as I hear more and more different viewpoints, as my kids grow older and begin to have their own viewpoints, it's made me keenly aware of how often close-minded I am. Just because I might prefer the punch method doesn't mean that it's the best for you, but most people will be open to trying it, and at least we've tried it. We can say for sure, well, I know what that is, what it's like, and why I like it and don't like it. But in the areas that matter most to us in our lives, that dictate who we are and how we see the world, those areas, more often than not, we don't know what the other side is like. We don't know what the other opinions are, or viewpoints, or why people even have them, because we're not willing to even go down that road. Or we're afraid with our kids, especially, we're afraid that if we let that influence into our kids' lives, maybe they'll just think differently than me. Whatever you believe to be the truth in your life, your opinions, your viewpoints, if they're strong and they're right, then they should hold up to your kids or yourself exploring other ideas and looking at other things because to me that just reinforces what we believe. You know what I mean? If what you believe about any particular topic is right, is true, at least for you, then it should hold up to other viewpoints, other opinions that you could actually not just listen to, but investigate, try out. I'm not saying it'll sway your opinion or that it even should sway your opinion, but it should make your opinion even stronger. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, there's a lot more like it on this channel, so subscribe to the channel. Also, give me your money through Patreon or buy some merchandise. I don't care how I get your money. You just want it, okay? No big deal. If you don't want to give me your money, it's okay. As long as you're subscribed and thumbs up the video, even if you hated it, give it a good comment. That's enough for me. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye. A long, sound